So, is the B-21 Raider going to replace the legendary B-2 Spirit? Short answer? Absolutely. The B-2 is getting ghosted. Think of it like this. The B-2 Spirit is the original iPhone. When it came out in the late 80s, it was pure sci-fi magic. A flying wing that could sneak past enemy radar like a ghost? It completely changed the game. But today, that original iPhone would struggle. It's expensive to fix, the software is ancient, and it can't run the latest apps. That's the B2. It's still an incredible machine, but it's a diva to maintain. Each one requires a climate-controlled hangar and costs a jaw-dropping amount per flight hour. It was designed in the 1980s to fight a Cold War enemy. Enter the B-21 Raider, the upgrade we had to have. The B-21 Raider is the brand new top-of-the-line model. It takes the same basic idea, a super stealthy flying wing, and cranks every dial to 11 for the modern era. Here's why it's a total replacement. Next level invisibility. If the B-2 is a ghost, the B-21 is a ghost that's holding its breath. The technology used to make it invisible to radar is generations ahead of the B-2. We're talking a radar signature rumored to be the size of a bumblebee. That's not just an upgrade. It's a whole new level of you can't see me. It's a digital bomber. This is the coolest part. The B-21 was designed using advanced digital modeling and is built with an open architecture. Forget clunky proprietary hardware. This is more like a smartphone. When a new threat or technology emerges, the Air Force can essentially download an update to the bomber, integrating new sensors, weapons, and software without having to physically rebuild the plane. This makes it vastly more adaptable and future-proof. There will be way more of them. The Air Force only has about 20 B-2 spirits. In a global conflict, that's not a lot to go around. The plan is to build at least 100 B-21 Raiders. Having more of these planes means they can be in more places at once, creating a much bigger headache for any potential adversary. And it's relatively cheaper. Don't get me wrong, it's still wildly expensive. But it's being designed from the ground up to be cheaper to fly and easier to maintain than the notoriously finicky B-2. 